It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 12th of January. I'm James Spann. Warm winter weather headlines are forecast through the weekend. Highs over 70 each day. Nearing record levels, the chance of rain small, nasty icing for the country's midsection, and more than likely our next good rain event toward the middle of next week. Let's dive in. Very interesting setup here. There's the water vapor satellite view. A strong upper high building across the Gulf of Mexico, expanding up into the southeastern states. That's going to keep us very warm for this time of the year for a while. That was the radar at 221. A few sprinkles over Cullman County, and that's about it. Most of the state dry. Temperatures are above 70 in many spots. Birmingham, 71. Look at Tuscaloosa, 74. Montgomery at 78. The cool spot, Fort Payne at 66, but the cold front really not that far away, and that's an Arctic front. Uh, Look at Little Rock, Arkansas, 74. Cross the front, you've got St. Louis at 32, Tulsa at 39. Remarkably sharp gradient there on the front all the way from near Dallas-Fort Worth up to about uh, Cleveland. And up on the Canadian border, it's way below zero. Very cold Arctic air. And in that uh, Arctic air on the southern flank of that, some nasty icing problems are likely. Winter storm watches, ice storm warnings in effect uh, from Oklahoma and Kansas up into much of Missouri, Illinois, parts of Indiana. That's the ice storm warning that covers much of Missouri. That includes Kansas City and St. Louis. Uh, And that's just, that's bad stuff. As you'll see, some spots out there could receive over one inch of ice accumulation. And that will bring down trees. That will bring down power lines. Convective outlook along the front, the chance of maybe a few strong storms uh, on the upper end of that front, but all that stays north of us. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Thursday evening of next week. The really big numbers, a little north and west of the state, but uh, North Alabama could see some amounts around two inches. And again, the bulk of our rain is going to come toward the middle of next week as the upper ridge finally starts to break down. Ice accumulation. This is not good. This is between uh, noon Saturday, noon Sunday over the weekend. The Bullseye, Kansas, and Missouri. And again, if you happen to be traveling up in there, you don't want to be traveling up and through there this weekend. Let's check it out, model fans. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. And boy, look at that 588 ridge all across the Gulf Coast states. And that's going to keep the ice, the cold air north of us and keep us warm that's a surface chart uh, and there could be a few showers tomorrow mainly across the northern third of the state the better chance north of us 278 the rest of the state dry a lot of clouds around during the day and like today low to mid 70s and icing begins over oklahoma and parts of southern missouri and extreme northern arkansas saturday again highs low to mid 70s here the day should be mostly dry Nasty icing across parts of the heartland. This is Sunday. Surface low develops over New Mexico. Ice continues across the middle of the country. In fact, this is the expected ice accumulation off the uh, NDFD, the National Digital Forecast Database. And uh, uh, right over Missouri, it's got amounts in the uh, quarter to one-half inch range. And again, potential for isolated amounts up to one inch. And that is just not good. And you know there's an NFL playoff game scheduled for Kansas City on Sunday. That'll be interesting with the Chiefs. We'll go to Monday. The surface low begins to lift out. Uh, we're still pretty much dry and still very mild. Same thing. High 72 to 75, just under record levels for this time of the year. Tuesday, the surface low near Chicago. And again, the ridge is holding. So Tuesday still looks mostly dry and very mild. And then finally, Wednesday, the ridge begins to break down and rain moves in. Go to Thursday of next week, pretty good little short wave coming in here, and a surface low begins to form north of the state, and you wonder if that might be a chance of strong storms somewhere in the Wednesday, Thursday time frame of next week. It's just too early to know. This is a week away, just something to watch. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday, the 22nd, troughing west of the state, and if that's right, the weather looking wet here. But no ice problems. But, again, there are signs that cold air comes back at the end of this month. This is the CFS for the period January 27th through February 1st. And you can see uh, cold air covers much of the continental United States. And on the numbers off the European, you can see the spike down beginning in about 10 to 15 days. Winter is still very 
Young. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Well, I've notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.